Hey, Rick, in court, U.S. intelligence officials are convinced Russia has already given orders to invade. President Joe Biden says the U.S. and its allies don't want war, and they're putting pressure on Vladimir Putin to call off any strike and to choose peace. We're talking about the potential for war in Europe. The United States is holding out for a diplomatic solution, Vice President Kamala Harris said, to prevent Russian President Vladimir Putin from attacking Ukraine. That is where we want it to end. As Harris left Germany, she declared U.S. and NATO allies want to continue their negotiations. President Biden has made very clear that he's prepared uh, to, to meet President uh, Putin at any time in any format if that can help prevent a war. On CBS's Face the Nation, the Secretary of State said despite being provoked and Russian false flag operations, it's never too late to make a deal. We're prepared either way, and we're prepared with uh, a response that will have massive consequences for Russia. Even though the Ukrainian president called on the U.S. to take swift action, Blinken defended America's decision to pump the brakes on applying sanctions for now. We don't want to pull the trigger until we have to. Uh, because uh, we lose the deterrent effect. This as more than 150,000 Russian troops sat along the Ukrainian border. President Joe Biden says he's convinced President Putin has decided to strike. Russia's ambassador to the U.S. denied those accusations and claims Russia's goals are peaceful. There is no innovation and there is no such plans. Here's the latest tonight. If an invasion isn't already underway, President Biden has agreed in principle to meet with Putin at a possible summit later this week. That would require Secretary of State Antony Blinken to hash out details with his Russian counterpart. Back to you.